Hi, this is Gail with Gail Southern Living, and I live in Central Texas Garden Zone 8A. Today I'm going to do a cooking video. This is a garden to table recipe. This is kale that I have harvested from the garden today. I actually grew this in a miracle grow bag, so this is all that was in there. And I'm going to make a copycat recipe. So for years I did not eat Brussels sprouts because it looked mushy. I tasted it, it was gross. Blech. So I happened to try a Cracker Barrel salad that my husband was eating, and I was like, it's really good, and I asked the waitress what it was, and she told me it was Brussels sprouts and kale. I was like, what? So I looked it up, and I found a copycat recipe. So first, I'm going to make the sauce. I'm going to do one cup of olive oil, and I'm going to do a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Sounds like a weird combo, but these, these things really combine very well. And this is from someone who doesn't like Brussels sprouts. Okay. And for the next thing, you're going to do maple syrup, uh, agave syrup. You could do any kind of sweetener that you want. I just happen to have maple syrup. And it calls for four tablespoons. I don't even know for sure if I have that much in this little jar here because it's almost empty. So I may end up sweetening it with a little something else as well. So I got about almost two tablespoons. So I'll probably put some more sweetener in it. Okay, since I didn't get a spoon, I'm just gonna mix this together with this. Okay, I think that's pretty well combined. I'm done with that. I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to set up my food processor, food processor and so I'll show you what I'm going to put in here next. Okay, for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and chop the ends off of the Brussels sprouts. Quite large they are. And I'm just going to put this in a bowl for the chickens. So I guess I discovered that I like Brussels sprouts raw, not cooked. And that's true of a few things actually. Now, if you don't uh, harvest your own kale, you could buy just one bag of kale. And the kale will kind of be a little bit more than the Brussels sprouts, but that's okay. It'll still be fine. I just usually use the whole bag of kale when I do it, when I don't have my own kale to harvest, depending on what season I do it in. And maybe I should consider growing Brussels sprouts since I like it raw in this salad. Okay guys, so I got the food processor set up. We're gonna go ahead and add the Brussels sprouts in there. We're going to put this right here, turn this here. And you just keep feeding it in there. It'll go into this bowl down here on the bottom. actually. Maybe that's weird. I don't know. It's almost like a slaw salad in that the kale and the Brussels sprouts are tiny. And then there's all the little uh, extra leaves left that fell off. So I'm going to go ahead and crunch that in there. And then if there's some big pieces there, I can either re-grind those or I can just throw those into the bowl for the chickens because this really makes a lot. So I don't necessarily need those pieces. And then I don't even change anything at all 
I just go straight into doing the kale. And usually the kale doesn't have the stems on it, but I really don't think that that's really going to make that much of a difference. So I'm just going to leave them on. And this is the last of the kale for the season. I actually grow it on my front porch in a miracle grow bag for the winter. So this is the second harvest. I probably could have harvested more, but anyway, that's how much I harvested. And then I'm going to take that bag and I'm going to use it in a wild area in my garden. So we're just going to kind of stuff a bunch of kale in here. It's all different sizes from little to big. We went ahead and harvested all of it because... You know, we're going to go ahead and move that bag because all the gardening, you know, move to the backyard for the summer or spring, spring and summer. All right, I got that stuff good. <laughs> pieces like a cold salt so each bite you get a little bit of everything in the bite. okay also we're going to put in two-thirds cup or five ounces of cranberries I had a big bag so I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole cup also you would put in one cup of pecans but I forgot to get mine of course so I'm gonna go to the store after this and grab mine and then here's the sauce we mixed up and then I'm just gonna mix all this in and this is so good. Crunchy with the pecans, the sweet in the sauce, and in the cranberries, and then the vegetables that you get in it. So it's really good and healthy. It is so tasty. I'll take a picture of what it looks like. It's, it's very green, and then there's the pops of the, but I'm gonna wait till after I get the pecans. That way you can see what it really looks like, but it's beautiful. And of course, this is when you test the sweetness and see if you need to add more. Cause like I, I had to go ahead and add a different sweetener because I didn't have enough maple syrup. Uh, but I did do that. And after I taste it and get the pecans in there and everything, I will taste it and see if it needs any more sweetener. Uh, and the vinegar sounds like a weird ingredient, but it's a great pop with all of this. And it's very, very good. Great summer salad, great garden to table recipe. If you're going kale and Brussels sprouts, this would be awesome salad for you. I did have to buy the Brussels sprouts, but I did harvest the kale. So you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys. Bye.